Okay, um, yeah, we're doing Riddle Transfer 2, the final game in the series. Anyway, um, I opened, I, I took the responsibility of downloading the game from the Game Jolt, so that way, we, because uh, I was reading the description on the Newgrounds website, and it said it was kind of buggy, so I just did this, so we wouldn't have to go through another toilet paper incident, like, in Riddle School 2. Anyway, it's been five years since I scrapped my original plans for Real Transfer 2. This year I felt inspired to provide closure to the story that the first game introduced. The sequel has no cliffhanger. The sequel has no cliffhanger? Hope you enjoy it. Oh, is it saying this game doesn't have a cliffhanger in it? Okay. Continue. Yeah, I just opened it and that's what it said. Oh, I have to turn that down. Okay. Cool! Riddle Transfer 2. Play game, continue, instructions, credits, and quit. Play game! Oh, who's that? Completely useless? Isn't that how my master worded it? Oh, they'll see. They'll all see how much worth I have. Worthless. Oh wait, that thing from- Oh, in the sewers. Oh, we're running. We are on the run! Sounds <laughs> like, I don't know. Press that button! Oh. Oh sweet, okay. It's a laser proof door. Great. Now what? Riddle transfer 2. Oh yeah. Oh wow, the frame rate of that was really bad. Uh, Portal? You was here. <laughs> Our lives are in danger here, and you wanna admire poor spelling? <laughs> oh wow! This really- this actually looks a lot better, I gotta say. This- this actually looks really cool. Anyway, um, what? What do I do? Let's start small. Power box. Key card slot. Oh, I have a key card from the last game. Awesome. This is the second time in a row I've conveniently ha I've conveniently had a machine powering doodad on hand. Okay. Does that mean I can do this now? Oh, okay. Is that do some? Anyway, um, this looks like a puzzle. I'm just. It looks like I have to link these, so I'm just gonna. That looks good. That... No, that looked good. Okay, good. I was just linking them. Okay, that's on. Can I go through now? The portal seems to be turned on, but it doesn't have a destination yet. Okay. Monitor. Oh, it's a password. So I gotta figure out the password? Pac-Man. Graffiti face. That graffiti seems to be having more a uh, more fun time than I am, for sure. Scrap of paper? Woof. Wait, is that the password? 4003, if not 00... what? Whatever. 4003? Okay, good! It's a good thing Zone 5.1 security kinda bites. <laughs> Element Riddle elementary coordinates. Why does it have this queued up? Portal target coordinates. Okay. So, this is, so 30, latitude 37, longitude negative 77. Okay, so latitude has to be that. So 5, 10, 15, 20. What does this do? Okay, 39. Awesome. Now, lo longitude. Negative 77. So... I guess, boom. Then boom. Then boom. Then boom. Nope. Okay, good. Negative 77. Teleport will be active when power is on. Power is on, so... Yes, portal! Okay, portal. Wee! Woo! 
That's cool. We're going into the rainbow dimension, apparently. And then the- Did the portal just explode? In the rainbow dimension? Whoa, Riddle School 1! How cool! A flashback to that really bad animation. I- I shouldn't say that. It's fine. It's- it's not that bad. It's fine. I- I- I don't make games. I can't say anything. So who's ready to repeat an entire y a decade of school? Oh my gosh! I was reborn ready. There goes my rhetorical question. <laughs> oh, Miss Kofi! Class, why have you been absent for the past several days? We were abducted by aliens! Then we got kidnapped by secret agents! We had to use a teleporter to get back to class! Yeah, yeah, I've heard those before, so what really happened? Uh... Right. Why couldn't we have been in a more convincing sounding uh, double abduction? <laughs> true, Zack, true. Well, I've made sure you all- you have time to do your makeup work. I've decided I'm not going to be having a quiz this week. Okay. Actually, I believe you are. <laughs> it's a chubby alien! <laughs> I am Quiz, the new face of Vizion! Oh, I remember! You were the one with the blue text in that one cutscene! Yeah, from Riddle School 5, when Viz is like, you're com Quiz, you're completely useless. Hey, Egghead! Thanks for rubbing out my boss! Now I have inherited his throne! I am become. I am become Quiz, judge of all worlds, and headmaster of this silly building. Okay. I guess stopping cliche supervillains is my life now. Yeah, really seems like it. I'd like to see you try that, Egghead. I won't be the, the pushover that Biz was. Ta-ta, worms! <laughs> Just side strolls out of here. Do do do. Do we still have to do that makeup work, Miss Kofi? Okay. Cool. The trash can. What the? It was tricky to reach, but it's scouring the trash can y y yielding a light tan paper bag. I can't read, apparently. I'm really bad at reading. Let's go in the hallway. Oh gosh, laser guns! Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, what do we do? Stained paper bag. Is that supposed to be like my head? Can we make like a duplicate or something? I don't know, let's talk to these guys. Fred. Hey Fred, is there anything around the desk that seems useful? There's a green backpack on the floor. I'm sure nobody's using it. I hereby confiscate this backpack for science. <laughs> Ooh, what if I... So I tree decoy. Sweet, can I... Yay! It doesn't fit the dimensions of my body at all. It just is there. It looks like a hoodie. The straps. I don't have straps. Crap. They found us out! Just kidding. I guess we'll go now. We're free. Unlocked locker. Yes, math book. Always try the lockers, kids. It's an exceedingly long division book. My opinion on this is very divided. Okay. What about over here? Let's start on this way. Mrs. Mr. Cam. Hey, it's that dumb dude. 42 divided by 0 equals... Uh... What? Whatever. Richie, are you the... Uh, Richie, it feels like I haven't seen you in forever. Uh, hi, have we met? You don't remember stopping me in the hallway before I showed you my hall pass? Of course not, who'd remember something as small as that? In that case, let's start over. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, my name's Phil Eggtree. That's probably the dumbest name I've ever heard. We're off to a good start. <laughs> there comes a beaver spit. You're so random, man. <laughs> the school's under control of an alien bent on- it, of an alien bent on world domination. Any ideas? Well, I can't get out of here if there's an evil mastermind running it in the building, so... And mastermind is giving him too much credit. Hmm. 
All I've got is some Elmo's glue. I'll take it. Whoa, dude, I'm not just gonna give you the only thing I remembered to bring to school. One dollar, then I'll trust you. Money, the root of all the inconvenience. So I became a dollar? I guess? Janitor's feet. No one's in here. Mop. The end of a mop could almost be a pom-pom. A mop-mop. Eh, uh -huh. Room. Rooms really sweep me off my feet, literally. It's quite painful, actually. Ow. Bucket. Bucket get. <laughs> what? Can I get another lock? Whatever. Uh, men. Hand soap. Oh, okay. <gasps> I can read this now! But, we remember we, no one was able to read it in the real school one, but now we can actually read it. I heard nobody, but I was not here. Orange are my fave color. Okay, orange my fave color. Clean stall. That stall seems to be uh, s s seems to still be untouched, even by alien hands. Okay, whatever. What do I do with the soap, woman? I'm not looking forward to this, but desperate times call for desperate measures. <gasps> We're going into the girls' bathroom. The woman's bathroom. What? What the flaws, man? <laughs> what the heck, gumball machine? It's it's a gumball machine. Huh? <laughs> the lid on this gumball machine is jammed shut. I wonder if I can grease it up a bit. You mean with hand soap? Oh, it actually worked. Okay. The gumball slipped out qu out quite nicely with the lubricant. Okay. Gumball machine. Sure, I'll take one. So now I just have a gumball. Okay, good. Yes, sign. The sign reads, any human DNA detected passing through the red laser will be shot. Hey, the poster! Not sure what I was thinking when I made this poster. There are more than seven students here. Well, maybe not while Quiz is in command of the building, but usually. Alright, I guess I can't go through, otherwise I'll be zapped to death. Let's go back to Richie, see what he has to offer. Wait. What is this? Chewing gum? Used chewing gum. Wait a minute. Used chewing gum. So it has human DNA on it? Am I thinking correctly? Where do I throw this at? Futuristic gun. I don't like the way that gun is looking at me, undressing me with its scope. What? What if I do it with the electrical box? Yes. Gum. Gun. Meat. Gum. Whoosh. Oh, it detected it. Oh no! The laser gun shot the power box and deactivated the whole thing. Okay, sweet. It's Chubb! Hey, Chubb! Hmm. I like fat jokes, but I'm sorry for calling you a fatty. That was out of line. Oh yeah! From the begin- from the first game, when I gave him the dollar and he flumped over and I went, TAKE THE DOLL, FATTY! <laughs> Oh yeah, you should be sorry for that one. It wasn't witty. You can come up with better material than that, bald eagle. I like the way you think, earthquake generator. Ha, ah, now that's better. Red cups of beaver spit. Sounds delicious. <laughs> what? You know, did you know the school has been overtaken by a fat blue alien creature? That claw! There's only room for one fat guy around here, and that's me. Could you maybe scooch over a bit? I'd like to, but can't move. I'm only here because some aliens set me in front of the door. Usually I can't get myself to move without a surgery energy without a surgery energy boost like a cookie. Oh yeah, I'm also sorry I misled you into thinking the cookie machine wasn't broken. We all make mistakes. I don't you have a use for this dollar, so you can have it back now. Oh sweet! If I find any cookies lying around, I'll let you know. So I got a dollar. Uh, you see me very round. Okay. Cafeteria. What is this? Is this turret? Oh no, coffee grounds. I think I'll carry around these stray coffee grounds because why not? The cookie machine doesn't even have anything in it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I'll just go... 
give Hit Richitas dollar. I have a dollar that says I can stop with uh, stop this alien takeover with your help. All right, I'll trade you the glue stick to take care of it. No worries. This glue stick and I will stick together like glue. Please never say that again. Okay. Goodbye. I don't know what I need the glue for, but dude, we almost have a full inventory. That never happens. Wait, what if I gave him the gumball? <laughs> oh my gosh! Starts booging it away. Pew! Okay, teacher's lounge. Guard monster. What are these eye drops? I see you eyeing my eye drops. Lay off it if ya know what's good for you. Okay. Guard monster. Hello. How do you? What's your name? Uh, I'm a nitwit. Wait a minute. Nitwit was the dude who wrote those notes in Riddle School 5. The notes that told you what to do with the monster thing and the live meat. That's cool. My mom, Napop, thought. My mom and pop thought it sounded intel uh, intelligent. I, I need to speak with your master. You told me you didn't want to speak with him, and I take his word over yours. Alright, yeah, that's fair, of course. What? <laughs> May I have your eye drops? Oi, it ain't easy having one eyelid. It, I, one eyelid eye drops keep me comfortable. I mean, I can function just fine with a dry eye, but it gets irritating. Does your eye feel dry right now? Now that you mention it, I guess it wouldn't hurt to moisten it up. Okay. Are we supposed to, like, get him to drop it into his eyes and make him leave or something? I don't get it. Hey, you're an idiot. Ha! I'd pass over to your class at your school in on on day one and beat you at chess at the same time. Okay. Hate to tell you, but you're in the way of the principal's office. Of course, I'm in the way. Hey, dummy! The headmaster's right through the his door. You mean quiz? Obviously, I mean quit. Uh, no. I gave him an Aussie accent just because I wanted to. Don't ask me why. Then I guess I'll just have to sneak I uh, look somewhere. <laughs> Where comes the beaver spit? Is that an inside joke I'm unaware of? I gotta be honest, I'm not even sure. Do -do -do -do. Wait. So he's very smart. Maybe I can distract him with something. Put the bucket over his head! Hello? How do you do? No. Okay. Give him the book? I bet you can't solve this math quest equate the math equations in this feeble earthling textbook. You think I'm dumb, do ya? Oh, it's down. And then we take the eye drops! Okay, I guess I just go now, so... Can I, like, mix these together? Hand soap, because that would hurt a lot. If I'm gonna put anything in this eye drop thing, I'll need to find a way to open it. What? You know, we should probably work on the new coffee grounds thing. What if I put it in the bucket? Nothing. Okay. Can I, like... Oh, there's a water fountain here! Can I... Oh, it's a little bucket wet! <laughs> now, can I mix these? I can't put the coffee grounds in yet. The water's still lukewarm. <laughs> lukewarm. So I need to heat up the bucket? Zack! Let me know if this is awkward. Oh, don't worry. It's definitely awkward. <laughs> okay, now can I mix it? Bucket of coffee. Heck yeah. Hey, Kofi, you want some? Oh my gosh! Chugging it! Holy cow! What? Uh. Uh. Okay. Hand soap. Now I need to find a way to stick the two parts of this container back together. Blue, Elmo... Does it say... Elmo's glue stick. What? Eyedropper full of soap. Okay, now Kofi's on a rampage now, so... Whatever. Teacher's lounge. Put the eyedrops back. Guard monster. 
these problems are child's play. Why don't you book back? Now you're probably just bluffing. Yes, your intellect is truly superior. I'm ready for y'all silly human math any day of the week. Hello, how do you do? Is your eye feel dry right now? Now that you mention it, I guess it wouldn't hurt to moisten it up. Oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good! Ow! Principal's office. Game saved, it said. Hello, quiz. How did you get in here? Through the door. <laughs> Dude, I'm busy, like, dominating your entire stupid planet. You call putting some turrets in an elementary school dominating the planet? This conversation is over. If you're our new headmaster, maybe it's about time you did something educational. Quiz! I'd like to propose a quiz. A what? I'll ask you some questions and you don't have to answer them for me. Just give a few answers to choose from and I'll take a guess which is right. Well, that seems fine. After all, you humans are all bad at multiple choice. You'll fail this quiz faster than your buddy Diz left you behind to die. Hey, be nice. Hey, it's not his fault he has longer running legs than my friends and I do. Question one. Vision was a project dedicated to vision. Sorry, vision was a project dedicated to destroying every planet with an evil population. Now tell me, after Viz's death, who was the first subordinate eligible to take his place? Diz, Quiz, Viz, and Nitwit. Um, who's the first individual in Viz's line of suggestion? Succession. It can't be Quit. It certainly can't be Nitwit. I mean, it could be. I don't. What do I know? Nitwit's just the one-eyed bimbo who usually feeds Oswald, our weird pet who eats live meat. So it can't be Quiz because, you know, uh, he was called useless. So it had to be Diz. Diz, if he was second in command, he'd be calling the shots. Hmm, we'll see about that. Question 2. What was Viz's opinion of you? What was Viz's impression of a quiz, aka me? Talented, cool, nerdy, useless. Useless? What do you mean useless? I heard it with my own invisible ears quiz back when I was just waking up from a long dream. <laughs> invisible ears. Quiz, you're completely useless. Why you? Question three. How many of Viz's lackeys did he allow to use his data and technology regarding vision? How many uh, minions tied to vision did Viz let access his data and technology for the project? Everyone is like you, just one nobody. I don't know. Just one, maybe? He didn't tell anybody, but his second-in-command, pal, so naturally I know everything. Intriguing. Question 4. You said a minute ago you'll fail this quiz faster than you or Buddy Diz left you behind to die. How could you have known about that? Can I skip this one? <laughs> Use your paper. How did I, Quiz, know about Diz running off and leaving you and your friends for dead? You told me. I saw it. I saw it, I guess? No, I probably told him. I don't know. Yeah, duh. He told me when he, uh... Very convincing response. Let's try that one again. I saw it. Explain, Q. I, uh... And for the final question, Zone 5.1, the place where my friends and I were trapped. Who owns that place? Who owns Zone 5.1? Nobody. I guess this 
Wiz just became a fill in the blank. Oh. Is it monologuing time? Here's what I believe is the whole story. The three leading figures of Vision were Viz, Diz, and you, Quiz. Diz was second in command. In command, you were third because Viz considered you a useless underling. As such, Viz only shared the nitty-gritty details of his plans with Diz. So when Viz was cut out of the picture, ooh, in that moment, Diz was technically in charge of the fate of Vision. I mean, Vision. But if Diz decided to put an end to the project, you would never inherit the powerful top spot. You needed Di to eliminate Diz fast, but you, but not without learning all the project secrets. That's where Zone 5.1 comes in. Zone 5.1 has a machine that can read minds and translate it into data. If you could get Diz in that machine, you could extract all the necessary data and keep Diz at bay. So you singled Zone 5.1 with you. So you signaled Zone 5.1 with Diz's whereabouts and killed two birds with one stone. Uh, we, he beamed him over. This was an easy task because Vision was, owns Zone 5.1. The place even uses Vision's TV screens, television, or television. I don't know. There must have been years of studies done before the project determined Earth to be evil. Zone 5.1 isn't just a place to research rare animals, it's a testing ground where Viz observes humans. Then why is there human guards? But one thing got in the way of your plan to steal Diz's newly inherited throne. Me. Oh yeah. The machine never got all, your da all the data you needed to reign over the cosmos. And now you're here, hopelessly lost in your quest to be a true leader. Oh, he's crying! It's true! I'm no leader! I can't even let you walk all over me with that whole quizzing idea! There's still time to do what's right, Quiz. Just let me, my friends end this school free. You're right. You humans can be smarter than I than and wiser than I gave you credit for. All security measures are now offline. That's sweet. He became a good guy in the end. <laughs> it's just one big hallway of a school. After I return to my home base, I'll put an end to the vision nonsense myself. This vision nonsense myself. You've opened my eyes. It is up to the civilizations of the universe to judge themselves. Thank you, Egghead. Sorry, Eggtree. Phil Eggtree. Stay classy, Quiz. And go make peace like a true leader. What the heck? A new star is born! Has been born. Could that be? Oh no. <gasps> no! Diz! Joy of joys, this doomsday device can use ice from comets as fuel! Finally, nothing is in my way. Not Viz, not Quiz, not those middling kids. Now Vision is my vision. Now Vision is my vision. No more beating around the bush with that judge the planet's garbage. Just pure cathartic destruction of all civilizations in sight. Diz, you maniac! Diz, this is up there. It must be him. Take me up there in your ship, Quiz. It will. I will do what I have to do to stop him. Does this mean you have a plan? No, I've got nothing. But we have no choice but to try. You're right, I'll take a clo you closer to the light. Before I but before I go. Smiley. <gasps> I used to tease you a lot because I didn't understand you. But now I realize you're a true role model for me. 
And you have a beautiful smile. <gasps> how cute! Oh, how nice! And we're gone. Oh my gosh! And now for the final battle. Game saved. Okay. I've never tried to use this shuttle before, er, shuttle for combat before, so it's up to you to find something we can use to fight that shit. Oh, front panel. Okay, keyhole. I'm not getting wh whatever's in this panel y y unless I find a key, I guess. Okay. What the heck is this? Dial- wait, what did it say? Dial pad panel. Oh great. Abkadeth. <laughs> Fed kebab. Okay, whatever. Um, escape pod? Cool. Escape pod, okay. Um, red compartment, green compartment, blue compartment. Oh, these are puzzles, okay. Okay, restart. Oh, they have restart buttons! Cool! What if I do this? Just randomly- No! Oh, I got it! Sweet! Okay. Now I'm for the green one. What? What is this? Oh, is it Viz's face? And now I have to, like, make it the correct direction? Yeah, okay, sweet. So it's Diz's face, okay. So that was Viz, Diz, and then Quiz? Yeah, okay. Cool. It's a cool puzzle. You're kidding me! I found that out that fast? What? How? Anyway, now what? Oh, okay, so that lit that up. Now I need a key? What's the code? Oh wait, this glitches. So E A C C A. I'm just guessing that's it. E A C C A. Okay, good. I'm like, what? Like that was the only possible thing it could have been. There's no other numbers here. Put the key in. Self destruct. What? A self destruct one? What is that? Is that it? I would have thought you had some ammunition in this fancy spacecraft. Isn't there anything else? Quiz. Quiz, what are you doing? You're taking us both down? Take the escape pod. No, Quiz! But... There's only room for one of us in that uh, escape pod, Phil. The clock is ticking. I will finish this. Go and be with your friends on Earth. No! No, Quiz! There we go. Oh my gosh! Oh gosh. No! Oh my gosh! That's so sad! No! He died after getting his only redemption arc! And here we are. That seemed like a pretty hard landing. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, how cute! Aww. <gasps> he smiled! Oh my goodness! Photo album. Okay. Oh my goodness! That was amazing! Aw, created by Jonachrome. John Bro. AKA John Bro. Aww. Originally inspired by Pico's school. Okay. Music by these people. Aw, him and Fred in music class, I'm guessing. Big thanks to the, the Diamond Minecraft Jack Scepter guys, Cinnamon Toast Ken, Risk Grim, and other YouTubers. Who's my name? 
Thanks to Scott Coffin for inspiring a change in, in my outlook on life and creativity. And to Telltale Games for keeping the point-and-click genre alive. I can't read that fast. Okay. That doesn't seem right. Those credits don't seem right. Where's my name? Oh, there it is. Okay. The credits are fixed now. They're, they're, it's fixed. Happy 10th anniversary, Riddle School. Aww. How fun. Hmm. 10th anniversary, wow. <gasps> Aww, they go all together! Aww, that's so cute! The end. Aww. And that's it. It's over. Okay, now what? Uh. Oh, okay. Special features. Introspective rich Rivala play noodles. Play noodles real school one remake. Oh, cool. Graham Nodal, formerly Goat Man, remade Riddle School on his own time. Check it out. That's cool! I might check that out another day. Um, anyway. But yeah, that's it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, hit the bell icon, so you get notified in all my latest videos. Leave a like on the video. And, yeah, that's it. The series is over. That was fun. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. And bye.